Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about the AI chatbot. So I'm going to make a chatbot with the help of GPT index. So we can say it L Llama index. So with the help of L Llama index, I'm going to make a ch AI chatbot. So purpose of this chatbot, what is the purpose of this chatbot? So this chatbot will uh, take the data, will learn the data or it take the data from the, from the PDF that will be in the specific directory. And all the it, it will read all the PDF and create create the vector database. And after getting the vector database, we will fire our queries. And AI chatbot will get the knowledge from those document or from those vectors and give us all give us the relevant information. Okay, so we will put we will use some uh, fake you can say fake or demo uh, resume. So I have some re resume, but before that, let's install the environment. So I'm going to use the Sublime version and a Linux in opening system. So let me start a Linux opening system. So I'm going to connect my Linux system. So it's uh, just HT. So it's SH protocol. I'm giving password. So it's connected. So it's Samba server because I have connected my uh, my. Uh, Windows system to the uh, Linux with the help of Samba share. So with the help of uh, SSH, I am able to log in in the system. So I'm creating a folder here, mkdir, uh, chat, experiment. Okay, here I'm going to create the virtual environment. For, for that, you have to know what is where is the Python 3. So my Python 3 is here. Okay, so first of all, write the virtual anv minus p hyphen p you can say hyphen p and usr bin python 3 and give a folder name so i am giving the folder name chat experience uh, chat experience is already there so okay first of all go in the chat experience done now write the write your virtual environment virtual anv minus p usr bin python 3 then a folder name folder name uh, let's say uh, chat chat one so environment is created let's check you can say chat one direct is created so go to the chat one so you can see bin lib here. So here you can log in with the help of uh, source bin activate. So now we are in the virtual environment. Here we can install our dependency, all the dependencies because first step is to install all the dependencies. So I have written all the dependencies. So I'm just putting uh, that file requirement file in this directory. Just one second. So I have copied all the dependencies. You can see I will share the GitHub, my GitHub repository repository link and this file. Okay, so you can directly start uh, start from the code. How to uh, you can just run and you will get the uh, you will get the chatbot. Okay, so these are requirement file. So instead of uh, uh, putting here, let me copy in the good folder. Like uh, let me create mkdir code where I will put my all the code base done and uh, mv this file requirement file to this code folder done done so now open the code clear ls done and pip install minus r from this file so by one by one it will install all the dependencies like OpenAI, Langchain, L Lama index, PDF reader. Okay, done. So this thing is complete. The installation done. So if you have requirement requirement file, you can install it very easily. Otherwise, you have to uh, run the code and check. Okay, this dependency is still pending, so install it manually. If you have this file, you can install it just by using one command. Done. 
So at this folder, I'm going to add my code. So I'm using the Sublime version. Okay, Sublime version. So I'm using Windows for writing purpose, but my code will run on the Linux system. So here, open the folder. So if you, if you have already installed the Samba server, so you can see here, G here, and uh, let me go paste my path. Samba server path, chat experience, code folder, and select folder. Okay, so here you can see code folder. Okay, so let me save this one as a first file. So it is taking time. FIRST first one dot py done. So this is the first file okay so what to do in the in this one so we need to create one more file that for our open ai key okay so i am creating a one more file for our open ai key so let me save this one i'm writing here key one dot py we need to store the we need to store the open ai key so i'm i have created this uh, this one this file which will so I'm which will have our key. So here key equal to. So here I'm stopping my video so that I can put my key. Okay, so that's completed. So key part is completed. Key is in the key one file. So from here, from key one import capital key. Okay, done. So first of all first file first one means which will create the data vectors from the data okay so here i am going to copy paste something uh, something okay some os thing and copy paste okay done so gpt store vector G simple directory reader os open ei so first import the key in the environment how os dot environ either you can put in the Linux environment or if you don't know how to uh, put the key in the Linux environment, you can use this uh, Linux, uh, this uh, Python command and open EI key. I'm just copy pasting from here in order to save the time and any kind of syntax mistake done and put key here done. Okay, done. So next is load the data so first of all create the folder here so that we can put our all the sample resume okay uh, mkdir docs done so i'm putting all the resume here so let's see chat one So cd docs. So I have already already put the all the resume. You can see some resume are there, some fake or some uh, normal resume are there. A B C V P N X Y Z. So these are the resume. Okay, resume of the different developers. Okay, done. So docs directory is created. So now we have our knowledge base in the docs file. Okay, docs file docs folder contain our knowledge base. So first of all, use some documents, documents equal to simple directory reader. Yes, simple directory reader. Give the folder name, exact name, docs and load data. Load data. Simple directory reader, load data, done. Now, you, now we have to make a index here index variable from gpt vector index okay so gpt vector index copy paste here to here and from documents documents and give this document here done so store so first of all let's store it because we are going to make query every time and every time if we uh, without storing if we use this uh, uh, vector vector things all the vectors that will create lot of token token problem because first your data go to the uh, 
and go to the open ai then open ai create the vectors then after vector we will make our query and next time it same thing happen so first store it store all the vector all the knowledge base in the vector form one time okay so here storage 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 and then context let me let me copy paste that thing from llm index storage context okay first of all let me create the storage index what is storage index okay so storage index variable is created by the this one and this default we haven't used right now we have storage context yes sorry so let me copy paste this thing also done so now we have all the things so from lm index we are going to use this gpt store index so okay we have already this one here so i am removing done storage service index storage context okay so this service context is also not needed and load index from the storage is also not needed done so storage index from default index storage context we paste this thing and then give the persist persist okay so this will automatically create the storage folder storage okay storage so let me create a message done completed I have copy pasted something because in order to in order to avoid the errors. So, okay, docs done. Python. It's first file. Done. Okay, done. So you can see over here a storage folder has been created. You can see storage folder has been created. It contain the JSON file vector storage okay vector storage you can see okay so this is your data okay so now this the task of this thing is completed now the second thing how to make a query over it how to make a query over it okay so first of all i am going to copy paste the things which i have already done in the previous one okay this thing just copy paste and from open ai let me copy key things copy it and where is the key this is a key save as second one dot p done key completed next now load the index again from load storage index from this one load storage index from okay but before this one which directory from which directory you want to load it so from this one storage context from default this directory storage directory which is already created from the previous file done index we have created index storage uh, from the storage context put it over here done now it's time to make a query so you can make a query engine and uh, index as query engine done now for asking the questions i'm using question input enter the question this chatbot question you can use while loop over here and so you that you can continuously ask the question but i am not using it i hope you know how to use the while loop over here response response query 
engine dot query question the query engine we have created over here query question response and print the response done so i hope no error python so let me open one resume so that we can see it okay you can see the resume this is a resume of abc kumar and some experience so this is a fake experience i have created if it resembles to anyone this is just a coincidence okay so automation test engineer tata consult consultancy services okay so let me ask the question from the chatbot python second i think second no error oh oh error as query engine let me check where is the problem gpt vector is saying that it's don't have anything like query engine oh it's engine i no mistake clear oh that's great so let me ask the question let let's test it so this name is abc kumar okay let's check who has done the automation test engineer who has done in as a automation test engineer so let me write huh? who has done work as let me check abc kumar has done the work as a automation test engineer so yeah it's giving us good reply okay so let me ask one more question who has the experience of linux so vpn doesn't have experience with linux vpn and uh, token oh there's some token limit is over here so let me ask the question again uh, who has worked in tata abc kumar worked as in tata consulting services so we need to take care about the uh, token length okay so in the next video we will see how to use token length what is the meaning of indexing what is the meaning of vector so i hope you enjoyed the, the enjoyed this video with the help of this video and all the all the code part you can create your own uh, chatbot ai chatbot so bye bye everyone bye bye please subscribe our channel if you haven't subscribed it please bye bye